hi guys in last call i think we discussed about this in very briefly open ai embeddings and what is the flow when you are going to implement this open ai embeddings in your organization or for your requirement basically we we just understood the overall flow in last call about how you are how you are creating a chunks and how and then again you are embedding into a vector database and then again prompts you are providing and prompts are again getting converted into the embeddings and 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 and, and that's how it search okay so but this open ai right we we know it's a, it's a paid whenever you are calling any open ai embedding api right you need, you need a license key you have to pay for each and every chunk of data which you are performing any embeddings on that so there are many certain uh, open sources are available also like uh, olama ui gpt for all these are just uh, for any open source playground and and it it also has a very huge corpus of data and pre built models are available which which suits your requirements also so but today's today's intent is not about this to understand all those things today's intent today's call is about to understand the building blocks of it and get a practical overview of how you can how you can just search search uh, do a semantic search and all right get an appropriate results and to search in your documents and you will get the appropriate results right using embeddings so so before using any any tool olama gpt4 or open ai first let's clear about the basic building blocks of it so so you should be aware of semantic search right this 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 uh, what you you might have heard many times right so basically what is semantic search right so it's nothing it's 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 see you can see here matching resume language analysis candidates curriculum vitae right it's written here right so basically it's a searching technique that aims to improve the accuracy of a search results by understanding the intent and context of user's query rather than relying solely on the keywords matching okay so semantic search what it utilizes your natural language processing and machine learning to analyze and interpret the context semantics and user intent behind the search query okay like how you are doing in a google search right you are typing a keyword right now they are also internally semantic search as in what it it try to understand what's your intent suppose you are searching for some code right as a you if you are a developer you are searching on a google right it does a it tries to first understand exactly what you are looking then it it throws you to the to that page right some uh, stack overflow page where you are getting the exact result of your search so that's where the semantic search right it it basically narrows down your search basically to, right because google has a very huge data right if you, if it's going to search in the whole huge database it should it will take much more time right so that's where the semantic search is plays very important role it's narrows down that search okay so now we'll move to this embedding models okay so first you try to understand this core concept right embedding model so suppose you have a huge data right object and huge data you are you have converted into the chunks of objects one object two object three right so you can just see visualize here in this screen here embedding models it's, a, it's nothing but some numerical vector representation you can say of your your object basically your your chunks basically so these all all are embeddings okay just keep in keep in mind this pictorial view also whenever you are coding now what 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 libraries we are going to use for the today's session okay we are going to use sentence transformer python very famous libraries right so it's a multilingual sentence paragraph and image embeddings using bert right so this framework what is what is what is this framework this provides an easy method to compute dense vector representations for sentence paragraphs and images these models are based on the transformer network like bert and roberta and x lem roberta etc right so 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 basically now we'll we'll see practically now in in next slides so one more important term comes right cosine similarity because whenever we are searching any two texts right two sentences right when we are uh, just we are doing a similarity checks right whether these two sentences are similar or how much similar these sentences we have to do some similarity checks okay so there is a very popular similarity 
algorithm which we are using is cosine similarity okay cosine similarity is a metric helpful in determining how similar the data objects are irrespective of their size we can measure the similarity between two sentences in python using cosine similarity okay in python we can do using cosine similarity so you can see here this formula right see this is the cosine similarity formula x comma y and x into y divided by magnitude of your x into magnitude of y okay so so this is the overall this formula about, about this cosine similarity okay now we'll see see by uh, one example okay you can see there is a x vector which has a value of 3 sample space value of 3 2 0 5 y vector has a value of c 1 0 0 0 now the formula as i told right x into y by magnitude of x divided by magnitude of y now what do you have to do x into y 3 into 1 3 into 1 2 into 0 0 into 0 5 into 0 right so what is this 3 okay now magnitude of x is square root of this one 3 plus square root of 2 square root of 0 square root of 5 right and then add it what we are getting here 6.16 okay okay 3 square and then taking a square root okay now again square root it's a 1 square 0 square 0 square 0 square 1 square root of 1 is 1 okay now again it is getting multiplied 3 divided by 6.16 into 1 so 0.49 so this is the 0.49 now this similarity you can calculate it by this formula okay you have to just do a subtraction here so 1 minus this 0.49 this 0.51 is a dissimilar and uh, it's a similar so it's it's a very uh, dissimilarity is more in this example right so this way basically we can uh, find out how much these two objects are similar or not similar okay you can see this also see this cosine similarity between two vectors measured by this theta you can see theta right so it's the distance between x and y more the distance right it is more dissimilar right so it's been 90 degree if theta is 90 degree it is very dissimilar okay x and y vectors are very dissimilar there are no similarity in between them very less similarity or you can say near theta is less right then it is very similar okay now for sake of this our coding uh, right project which i am going to show you we will be using this model all mini lm l6 v2 model okay you can just go to this website huggingface.co uh, right these are the trained models which are available right so this is basically a sentence transformer model it maps sentences and paragraphs to a 384 dimensional dense vector space and can be used to for tasks like clustering or semantic search so this is very uh, it's suiting it suits my requirement basically what we, what i am going to demonstrate so that's why i have chosen this now let's move to